Hi guys, thanks for joining. I do offer spiritual coaching and spiritual advising, in working with spirit guides, working with your ancestors, working with your guardian angels. First question, what is the best way to communicate with my deceased brother? Lighting a white candle for like 15 or 20 minutes before you go to sleep at night, saying a prayer to your higher power, and then stating the intention that you would like to visit your brother. Incense is an offering. Incense is a great way to open up spiritual connection. It's a beautiful offering. It's a wonderful way to communicate intentions. It carries our prayers. It greatly pleases spirit. I've heard that using too much Florida water can attract too many spirits because some spirits really like it a lot. Any thoughts? I use it and never heard that before. I use it for cleansing. I use it um, to protect myself from unwanted energies and entities. And I haven't had any problems attracting too many spirits. Um, if, if I am attracting spirits, they are benevolent spirits that are helping me. I think that this is the kind of thing where it really depends on your intentions as well. Somebody like you or I who is protecting themselves on a regular basis, who is clear about your intention and who has experience working with spirits, I don't see that, I don't foresee that being a problem. I also use Florida water for intensive cleansings of the environment when I need to. I put it in a bowl and I set it on fire to get rid of any kinds of um, spirit activity or unwanted energies that, that uh, I don't want around. I have some basil water that I use for more intensive cleansing as well. Sage has been kind of appropriated. So it's used in, as an offering to spirit guides and to ancestors and it's used to open up a portal to communicate with them. It's used to create a sacred space, but not specifically for cleansing, a sacred space for communication between the worlds. And I'm coming from a spiritualist foundation, a spiritualist philosophy. This is a holistic practice that involves healing and it involves getting to the root of your issues. So what I'm doing is combining a bit of life coaching, combining healing, and combining magic all together to create the kind of transformation that people are really seeking in their lives. So your actions need to be in alignment with the spiritual work that we do together. What I do is more of a partnership with you as well as a partnership with spirit. It's spiritual support, meaning that I support you, meaning that spirit supports you, meaning that I intercede on your behalf. But you have to be an active participant and a willing partner. When I read Candle Flames, I consider that scrying. Scrying is a form of divination. I stare into the surface of the fire and it's a form of meditation which really allows me to connect with the candle, to connect with the work, and then to receive messages. I don't need initiation in order to be who I am and do what I do and do what comes naturally to me and what, what I was born with. For a high level spirit guide, what most people would say is that you need to learn how to raise your vibration. You can do that through energy work, you can do that through um, a lot of meditation. The purpose of that is to learn some form of spiritual channeling. Whatever sense is the strongest for you, that's how you're going to get that information from your guide. For energy protection, just envision a shield of energy around you. Envision it in some color of blue, golden, or white. It's very important that you can see it from all angles. We'll keep anything negative or unwanted out but it will allow good things in. So you can do it in your car before you walk in somewhere. You can do it while someone is talking to you. You can sit there and be doing this and protecting yourself from their negativity without them even realizing it. And it works really well. Visualize that your feet are growing roots like a tree and growing deeper and deeper down into the earth. Your hands are growing up like branches into the sky, stretching through the clouds, stretching to the sun, and you are releasing all negative or unwanted energy into the earth, and then you're pulling down fresh, vibrant, new energy from the sun, from the sky. I really appreciated your questions. I really enjoy talking with you, and I want you to have a great evening and stay blessed.